scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Acts chapter 3. Let me show you what the Word of God is able to do. Acts chapter 3. Please give us from verse 1. I just sense that the power of God is strong here. We're going to pray shortly. The Bible says Peter and John went together into the temple at the hour of prayer being the ninth hour. Isn't it beautiful that they had timing, the discipline to go and pray. You don't pray anyhow and want to grow methodically. You must discipline yourself. There's something called the time, the hour of prayer. Verse 2. And a certain man lame you see what being reduced to nothing does it erodes your name there was a naming ceremony for this man but he had been so reduced nobody knows or cares about his name don't let your condition be higher than your name this man's name started going down and all that is left is his condition a certain man means it's not a parable there really was a man for certain his name we do not know we just know his condition lame from his mother's womb so it was not a mistake of doctors like Mephibosheth from his mother's womb he was lame the Bible says whom they carried daily at the gate of the temple which is being called beautiful the Bible says he came to ask for arms of them that entered into the temple ah, God is speaking now God is speaking now God is speaking now. Verse 3. It says, Who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked them for arms. Now a miracle is about to happen. Follow carefully. Verse 4. Peter fastened his eyes upon him with John. He said, Look on us. Do you know what it means to look? Verse 5 gives you an explanation of what it means to look. Every time the Bible says look or look steadfastly, that's what it means. It means give heed, expecting to receive. That's what it means to look. When God says look on us, it means pay attention. Something is about to leave God to you. To look does not just mean see, you are already looking. The Bible says the man was already looking on them. It's a mystery. It's a coded communication. Look on us. He gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something from them. Verse 6. And Peter said, Silver and gold have I none, <laughs> but such as I have, such as I have, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up. What did he have? That word, rise up and walk. Do you know when he said rise up and walk? The man did not rise up. Read your Bible. He was there looking at them and said, what are you saying? And Peter said, I need to help you. Next verse. The Bible says, and Peter took him by the right hand and said, the word has already come. You are stopping the word from walking. He lifted him up. And the Bible says, he leaping. His bones received strength. The same way you are seated here now. For many of you, you are trying to rise. You may not be lame physically, but there are things keeping you down. Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 1 and 2. 
We're about to pray. My God, my spirit is fired up. I just sense there is a strong anointing in this place. Ezekiel chapter 2 and verse 1. There is such strong anointing. Yes. Things are shifting in the spirit. The power of God's word. You sang it already running out like running physically. Please, whether you're in out like running physically, please, whether you're an usher or not, I want you to help them so they don't injure themselves. Everything that represents delay, I bring a word in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab. I stretch my hands. May the grace for speed come on your life. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. No more delay. Help them, please. Help them. No more delay. In the name of Jesus. Every power sitting on your destiny, stopping you from experiencing speed. In the name of Jesus, I take authority by the word of the Lord. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Go ahead and begin to pray. Lord, it's time to rise higher in the spirit. Bring them out. Help them. Please help them. Pray. This is a word conference. Your life is about to change. Speed. Is someone praying? Are there people of prayer in this place? the name of the Lord. Amen. Who is Victoria? I'm hearing the name Victoria. My dear, this is your child? Is your husband here? No, sir. Where are you coming from? I stayed across, opposite. I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. You see, from next month and for the next three months, what will happen in your family will amaze you. Amen. You will never forget this conference. Amen. Can I pray for you? Yes, sir. Father, I stretch my hands over Victoria. You have brought her by your spirit. In the name of Jesus, I release you. And your husband step into a new level of supernatural blessing. Take that grace. You will never, never be the same. I decree and I declare that everything that is not the planting of the Lord over your family here at this word conference, in the name of Jesus, be delivered from it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. There is someone, that's all right, please you can give them the child. The Lord is showing me someone here. The power of God is going to come upon you. There are patterns of death over your family. And the Lord says he wants to bring it to an end. We will not take time, we will just pray and then we are done for this morning session. We will hopefully have the time to minister and pray 
for the sick. Please don't be embarrassed. I'm seeing a woman here. You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. You are wearing blue. Look at this. Look at this. Listen, please look up. Let me teach you something. I know that there's been a lot of abuses, immaturity, imbalances in the administration of the prophetic. This has come because of insufficient or inadequate mentorship alongside lack of scriptural balance. Are we together now? When the gifts of the Spirit are administered out of the reference of scripture, they will lead to a plethora of imbalances. However, there is the accurate system of administering the gift of the spirit such that believers are edified and then Jesus is glorified. Look the people who have come before the Lord. You see, when miracles happen like this, it is more than just a show that a man is, you don't have to kneel, my people. It, it is more than a show that a man is anointed. No. No. There is a bigger agenda to that. When you see so many women coming to stand unashamed, trusting God for a miracle, God, you see, there are messages behind every prophetic word and every miraculous manifestation. God is speaking about fruitfulness. It may not just be biological fruitfulness alone. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. We'll sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. I'll start by ministering to the officer woman. I have profound respect for people in the military and people in the force. They labor day and night protecting our regions, protecting our nations, and anywhere I see them, not favoritism, but I show them the honor that befits their sacrifice. Madam, thank you for coming. Lay your hands on your stomach. I want to pray for you. I'll pray for everyone, but I want to pray for you. Do you believe in miracles? In the name of Jesus, look at me, madam. I stretch my hands towards you. I don't care what the medical situation is. In the name of Jesus who sent me to this island and by the power of the resurrected Christ, I decree and declare unto you, according to the time of life, Go and return with your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. According to the time of life. Go and return with your children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I'm going to pray for all of you. I really, really can sympathize with you. And it is not an easy thing to get up and come standing for yourself. Believing God for this. All of the troubles that many of you may have to have gone through this is why he sent us we come as instruments revealing his love revealing his power I want to pray for you right now truly there is power to heal truly I want you to know that if you believe this you will be surprised Forget about whatever medical report you see. Just focus on Jesus. They looked unto him, the Bible says, and they were not ashamed. Please place your hand. Don't cry. Place your hand on your stomach. I want to pray for you. Please help them because the power of God will come on some of them.
I've got a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. It's only that you look and lean. It is recorded in His Word. Hallelujah. Something is happening to you as I'm, as I'm singing this song. My God. Look and lean. My brother lean. Look to Jesus. A miracle is happening in your womb. No power in existence can stop you. Hallelujah. Now I command every spirit behind this. You know my voice, I speak as one sent. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, help them. I command those devils out of their bodies now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I declare, help that man. I'm sure he's standing in for his wife or some person. In the name that is above all names, may your womb be open now. May your womb be open now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Christ of God. Let me tell you this. There is a vision that I saw this morning. I will tell you in the evening. But there is something to settle on your land here. I'm going to be praying a prayer this night in this place. The Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him that everything that is not, it, that does not name the name of Christ, that territorially holds people down, except Jesus is not Lord, he must give way to them. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I pray for you, my dear sisters, in the name of Jesus, in the presence of all the men of God, veterans of the gospel within this region, we agree by faith as a family of faith and we declare in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, go and return with your miracles. Go and return with your miracles. God who located you and brought you out by his spirit it does not matter whether the challenge comes from you your husbands or both in the name of Jesus we correct every anomaly in the name of Jesus Christ please return back to your seat rejoicing return back to your seat rejoice return back to your seat rejoicing Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone who will we'll be rounding up now. The Lord is showing me someone you are here, but I'm seeing that you came from Lagos. There's something that has to do with Lagos. I don't know whether you came for this program or you had something that brought you from Lagos. The Lord wants me to pray for that person. I'm seeing a connection with Lagos. Is there someone like that? very quickly and then I'll pray with you if there's someone like that please very quickly I'm not saying you live in Lagos that's not what you're not domiciled here I don't know why the Lord is asking that I pray for you I want to pray for you There's someone you have the call of God. The power of God is coming on you now. I thought we'll do the impartation in the evening, but I'm saying there is God has been training you in the secret. Very, there, there are dimensions of the prophetic and dimensions of the healing grace. God wants to, in a greater measure, bring these graces, these twin graces. They don't have to rush out. Just hold them, please. In the name of Jesus. You don't have to bring them out. My dear. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Upon such ones. Male. Female. You have been in the cave of Adullam. Being walked upon by the spirit of God. 
for some of you no one knows you you are still going through the dealings of the spirit in the name of jesus the grace calapos you will never be the same you've touched this grace your life is changed you will never be the same you've touched this grace your life is changed let me pray for you now the power of God will come on one of you in front here. The moment that happens, I'll now pray for the rest. Just hold it. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare, connected to Lagos, I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that everything that represents failure, everything that represents retrogression, in the name of Jesus, whose I am and whom I serve, I declare, let it come to an end now. For you and for all connected to you, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In Jesus' name. Please go back. Maybe just one. Who is Sam? The Lord would not let me rest. I'm hearing a name, Sam. They call you Sam. Sam, like S-A-M. Is there anyone? Those following online, you can connect by faith. It's not only those in the local um, environment here. God can be speaking. Please make sure your name is Sam. Who is that? What's your name? Sam. You are Sam? What do you do, sir? A coach. I do sports. I want to pray for you. Touch your, your left leg. <clears throat> if I, I want to pray for you so that something will not happen to your bone here. That it will affect you in sports you see what i'm saying i hope you, i'm not a prophet of doom huh you hear what i'm saying but I don't pray for you i'm seeing something that is breaking your bone and this thing is affecting you almost like ruining what you are doing but can i pray for you yes sir lord i pray in the name of jesus the son of the living god number one i pray that you will help this man the Bible says the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity. He keepeth his bones and none is broken. I declare may the Lord keep and preserve you. And then I pray for your career and that which you do, the grace to excel. Let it come upon you in the name of Jesus. And for all of you, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord called you out by himself. I decree and declare that which you do. I bless your hands go and prosper in the name of Jesus Christ go and prosper by the power of the Holy Spirit go and prosper in the name of Jesus now I like you to open your mouth in one minute what one thing are you trusting that between now and the end of this conference must be a testimony in your life I release my faith with you please open your mouth and pray by faith pray by faith pray by faith unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come is someone talking to the lord pray by faith maybe concerning your job this is a word encounter maybe concerning your spiritual life greater levels of fire grace anointing maybe for your family your children maybe for your loved ones maybe for your region go ahead and pray are you praying don't be tired of prayer it's important to pray don't say i prayed about it again and again and nothing happened pray Manta parakata barete kete prete kete bele darush. Shala parakata prende kete prete bala da bala da bos.
Just help those under the anointing. You don't have to bring them out. Just help them. We are praying. This is part of the meeting. Please pray. You came this morning. Help those under the anointing. Just help them. You don't have to bring them out. I'm releasing my faith with you. The Lord is answering prayers. Just hold them. Hold them so hold them and just keep them down somewhere. Shabaka paradagada balada bakasia. Shkem preteke parados kateleke parada balada balaba. If you have nothing to pray, pray in the spirit. Let's take a few minutes to build up our spirit man. Shente pakata parakatos katebeleke tefradagada. Shabaros kateperentes katabalakata. Le shalas katabranda katafredes katebeleke ta. But ye, your beloved, building yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Pray. Fresh anointing, O God, upon my ministry. Fresh anointing, O God, upon my life. Are you praying? Fresh anointing. Shadabakatos katebrenta katebarutas katebelekata. Embrokotopokotos katebatiata. A resurrection over my prayer life. A resurrection. Help those under the anointing. Help those under the anointing, please. Just hold them so they don't fall. Please hold them. Hold them and just... Challenge every force. Challenge every power that contends with the word of the Lord over your mouth. Challenge every force. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Pray. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted ancient doors. Over this island, over this region, it's time for God's people to experience the prevailing power of the word, the prevailing power of the grace of God. Pray over your career. Pray over your profession. Pray over your family. Pray over your ministry. Pray over your spiritual life. Pray over your destiny. Don't be silent. Declare ye that thou mightest be justified. Shkaparakata prenta kate boto sokotopa. Ebrakatos kate lekate. Rakata prenta kate proskata kata prata kate. Ebrakatos shele kate prana kata barus. Spiritual slumber, spiritual laziness, lukewarmness. In the name of Jesus, I challenge you on this Lord's day. Shabakata barakatusia. To be carnally minded is death. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. Paranskatam barakotos kotoprekatea. Pray. For a renewed appetite for the word of God, a renewed appetite for spiritual things. Shabada katale kete prende kete sapakata, lekete fras kata baranta skete prende kete baradaba. Now pray for your loved ones. As for me and my house, as for me and my house, it must be me and my house. It must be me and my house. Parents intercede for your children. Young people for your parents. For your loved ones. In the name of Jesus. Say unto the righteous. It shall be well with them. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Pray so. Speak so. Declare so. Let the blessed of the Lord pray so. Speak so. Declare so. Rebuke the spirit of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and of a sound mind. Don't be 
be tired. Lord, I found my prayer altar afresh. I found my prayer altar afresh. I found my prayer altar afresh. Let this be a conference that brings renewal. Let this be a conference that brings empowerment. Let this be a conference that brings refreshing. In the name of Jesus. Let this be a conference that brings empowerment. For in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, let me make a request. If, if it is fine with the organizers of the conference... I like you tonight as you are coming come with any point of contact whatever it is that God can use as a point of contact or you can come with a prayer request write something you are tired of that must live your life call your loved ones who may not be able to make it by the grace of God we are going to receive this prayer request this night and let the God that answers by fire arise like the mighty one that he is we'll be praying for the sick tonight and there will be impartations of graces many of you have had dreams visions where god has told you it's time to carry certain graces i'd like you to come with your heart hungry ready to receive for your life for your ministry that he will set you on fire and he will honor you in the name of jesus christ can I pray for you? And with our hands lifted high, we will worship our King. And with our hands lifted high, we come before you rejoice. With our hands lifted up to the sky, and the world wonders why. We just tell them we love in a key. Oh, oh, we just tell them we love in a key. In the name of Jesus, I stand in faith with the servants of God over this land and this territory. The same way it is raining outside, prophetically, any drought in your life in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God we bring that drought to an end now spiritual drought financial drought in the name of Jesus it comes to an end now number two I declare over your life every manifestation of stagnation long-standing stagnation that the only thing growing in your life is your age nothing else is growing i pray in the name that is above all names let stagnation come to an end now whoever has been anointed by god to hold your hands and to lift you in this season in the name that is above all names like Pharaoh sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon I command their ministry in your life now I separate you from any wrong association that is interrupting your spiritual life be separated in the name of Jesus I pray for all who are connected to you here on ground following online and all across this nation and the nations of the world the same power that is touching you here by the ministry of angels let it reach them wherever they are Amen. and finally i pray every lukewarmness in your spirit man some of you your prayer life this was not how you started your word life your passion for the things of god but now you found out that there's, there's been a gradual deterioration. Fresh fire upon your altar. 
fresh fire upon your altar fresh zeal for the things of God fresh commitment for the house of God in the name of Jesus I will not fail to make an altar call yet even though we made one yesterday night I still believe even if it is for the sake of one person who is saying apostle do not end this morning session without giving me an opportunity to run to Jesus or you are here you are saying I could not follow yesterday I couldn't make it but I know that I need Jesus I remember giving my heart to Jesus but my life is not the way it is wherever you are I will count one to four you were not here yesterday please win that war don't wait for someone to be the first come and stand come and stand come and stand come and stand God bless you Jesus keep coming there's something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. If you're joining them, come quickly, come quickly. Please keep standing. I salute every one of you for coming. The Bible says, as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Jesus is more than the founder of a religion. God bless you, darling. Blessings to you. I want you to lift your right hand, if you can, high to the heavens. And I want you to say this after me. You are not reciting a poem. Jesus is here. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I believe in you that you are the Son of God. This morning, I declare that I am unable to help myself. And so I come to you. I receive forgiveness of sins. And I receive eternal life into my spirit. Be my Lord. Be my savior and be my king. I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign in life. From today, I go forward ever and backward never. In the name of Jesus. Please keep the hands lifted. Father, we thank you for saving by your word even to the uttermost this morning. Thank you for these ones that you have brought before the cross. In the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord will help you. He will show you mercy. You will never go back to where you came from. It will be a journey forward ever. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.